Our institute is really a material science institute, understanding of microstructure. We're interested in understanding how microstructure influences the various properties of materials and their functionality, that we take our knowledge from diagnostic input in terms of optimizing materials for specific functions and really looking at the whole value chain of material systems. What's great about Fraunhofer is that we try and make this transition between basic research into application, and we fill that need in terms of addressing materials questions and microstructural questions for industry. Our expertise covers all kinds of aspects of uh, polymeric reliability within photovoltaic module and polymers are there to protect the photovoltaic cell against uh, various environmental factors. And we are strongly focused on the method development and uh, establishing a relationship between uh, the polymer formulation and properties and module degradation. We realized that the degradation starts with degradation of additives that's why we elaborated a new approach, so-called additive to module uh, concept, that relies on a holistic approach, where we start with our own customized uh, development of encapsulant, where we can, in a predefined way, elaborate the uh, formulation of encapsulant or any other polymeric film. And in the reality, we usually have a situation of um, multi-stressors. That's why we uh, combine all the different factors and to test the synergy of, of these factors on the polymer degradation. Well, as you know, glasses and glass ceramics are pivotal in our daily life. Cover glasses for uh, smartphones or cooktop panels uh, in your kitchen or windscreens in your car. All of them have different property profiles and uh, when you do a development of such materials, you need to make those properties fit uh, the application. Fortunately, we have many different techniques uh, at our disposal, including surface analytics, high resolution, electron microscopy, also uh, non-destructive techniques like X-ray tomography. What we will be able to use in the near future, using our latest acquisition, uh, TEMSTEM, we will be able to have a look into electron energy loss spectrometry. Uh, at the nanoscale, uh, with a monochromated beam, we will be able to do vibrational spectroscopy of glasses and glass ceramics that will help us understand mechanical properties. And uh, that's why we find it fascinating to have an alternative uh, to existing technologies. Microscopic non-destructive defect localization is a technique that aims at the detection of small electrical defects that are accompanied by heat. We work on several approaches for improving sensitivity and resolution of microscopic lock-in thermography. The first would be the implementation of machine learning and another approach that we are working on is the development of a semi-analytical approach that allows for the inversion of the heat propagation and in the end a quantification and precise localization of defects in three-dimensional space in microelectronic packages. Our partners from industry benefit from these non-destructively operating techniques in the field of technology developments, but also for failure analysis and for quality assessment. The focus of our group is the assessment of the interaction of dental care products with the oral heart tissue, the dental enamel and dentin but also uh, the interaction with all biomaterials you have in your mouth. For example, restoration materials or prosthetics or lime materials. So our specific capability is that we can investigate the efficacy of products at the microstructural level and techniques that are probably are as close as possible to the clinical situation. For example, in our labs, we have developed a new technique to 
investigate chemical and microstructural changes in the human anatomy by TOFSOMS. So this means uh, time of flight, secondary IMR spectrometry. And this is very valuable to check the fluoride uptake in enamel to uh, develop products with an anti-carious effect, for example. And now the new robotic system we have here at the Institute, we are able to mimic even closer the clinical situation by having the possibility with 3D movements on an entire jaw. Our research focus is always on sustainable and cost-efficient solutions for our partners. With our unique equipment in Skopau, consisting of thermoforming, injection molding, hybrid injection molding and extrusion, we are able to offer cutting-edge technologies for our partners. A great example to showcase our capabilities is the child seat that we have developed together with partners from industries. The material is fully bio-based and the machinery that we have used to produce the child seat is capable to do the prototyping and also the pre-serial manufacturing. My vision for the future is to establish more and more thermoplastic lightweight structures, sustainable solutions in different applications, like in industries with higher requirements, like the aircraft industry, the automotive industry, or the public transportation. I think that we have societal responsibility um, in, in the context of how do we use materials. I think recyclability and circular economy are huge motivations for developing our understanding of materials and providing the best scientific input for, for industry. This is a huge driving force.